Hi YouTube friends, it's Tom here. Welcome, join me because today we're making a monkey's fist key fob and we're going to do it using this French hitching to finish it off. So to make this one I'm using 180 centimeters of 550 paracord which is around about six feet. I'm also going to need a marble for the core of the monkey's fist and I'm also going to use a paracord lacing needle. This one isn't required, so you can still do the project if you don't have one of these, but if you do, you can just get a little bit of a nicer finish on the end product. We're gonna start this one off by tying our monkey's fist, so just locate the end of your piece of paracord and take your marble and place it in between your fingers. And then place your paracord over your fingers Pinch it off and take three wraps going forwards. So that's three and on the fourth one just go over one finger instead of both of them. And now we're going to switch directions and I'm going to take my end up through the gap here and pull that all the way through. And I'm also going to do three wraps. So that's the second wrap. And this one's the third. And as you're doing this, just make sure that your strands are nice and parallel and that they're not crossing anywhere. And once we get to this stage, we can take this thing off of our fingers. So just gently take it off, and we're again going to switch directions. So I'm going to start by going down through this top loop. Careful not to lose your marble at this stage. So just hold it in place and then we'll start doing our next three wraps. So down through the top, up through the bottom one. That's our first wrap. And we just need to do two more up through the bottom down through the top and this one is our last one so now you can just check that you have three wraps on each face top, bottom, and both sides. And then we can start pulling slack through the knot. So just locate your end and pull that end until there's about one centimeter or half an inch. Uh, we're eventually gonna hide this end, but just for the time being, leave just a little tag end here. And then proceed to work your way right around, pulling slack through and keeping those strands parallel. So we just have to work our way right around the knot. Just try and keep it as neat as possible as you work your way around. You're going to switch directions. So just keep working your way through your knot until you get to the other side. So 
So once you've gone through one tightening, just make sure your faces are nice and neat. And then we'll get to the tag end. Where we just left a little bit and now we can pull this underneath these three strands. So we're going to have to go through the knot one more time. Just pull it until it's just hidden underneath the very end strand. And then again, work your way around the knot, pulling this slack through. And this time we're going to do our final tightening. So we can tighten the monkey's fist right up as we go around. So go around one more time and then we'll get back. So once you've tightened up the monkey's fist, we just need to tie a loop at the top. And I'm going to do that by tying a snake knot. So come up around about six inches or so. And I'm going to tie this sideways. Just fold your piece of paracord over. And then take the bottom side over the top strand and then form a loop. And then take the other strand underneath. And I'm going to tuck this working end down through that top loop. And we just need to pull that through. So that's our snake knot loop. Tighten that up. And then we can start our French hitching down here. So the way I'm going to do that French hitching is just to tie a series of half hitches. So come in underneath, and then I'm going to go around and down through that loop. And then do the exact same thing. Come in underneath first. And then around and down through that loop. And it's the same hitch all the way down. So again, we're going to go underneath. And around and down through that loop. And then just keep repeating that pattern until you get down to the monkey's fist. So once you've finished your hitching all the way down, you can cut and singe the end here. Or if you have a lacing needle, then we can hide the ends underneath the wraps. So you'll see which wraps they want to tuck under. In this case, I'm going to do it under these three here. So just grab your needle and feed your end through those wraps. And now we can cut this end off here. Cut it nice and close. And singe this one off and be careful not to damage the other wraps with the heat. So just be careful as you singe this one off. Just need to get a bit of a crust on the end there. And just let that cool off a little bit. And then we'll push that underneath these three wraps. So just use the edge of your lacing needle and push the end back into the knot and then just adjust the strands there so it's nicely hidden. 
So that's it, you've finished Monkey's Fist Bell Rope Style Key Fob. If you have any comments, suggestions or requests, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you supporting the channel. I like you all and I'll see you on the next video.